These are what we are going to call linear circuit elements. Um, the first is what you have seen before, register. That's described by this relationship, Ohm's law. Voltage is equal to resistance times the current. And um, the other two elements are what you have seen over the course of semester so far. I, it wasn't introduced that way initially, but let me you know, recast it and call them linear circuit elements. The second one is the capacitor, and that's what we are going to spend some amount of time today. So capacitor. The relationship that defined the capacitor was, well, I guess the version I remember is the definition of capacitance. It's the amount of charge stored on something, the capacitor, and the, the amount of voltage difference you have to put across the capacitor to put that amount of charge on the capacitor. Yeah? And the reason we haven't treated this as uh, one unified thing is because we were waiting for the third element. We could not describe this third element until we covered the Faraday's law. That's why it had to wait an entire semester. We couldn't just come out with this right away at the beginning. So the third element is the inductor. It's uh, uh, represented with a symbolic version of a solenoid, a squiggly line. So what you have to imagine is that this is a solenoid. So it's characterized by some inductance L. And I guess I never talked about unit of inductance, right? Um, I'll just give you the name. It's uh, measured in something called Henry's. Henry's. Um, just the name. It's SI unit, which means you know if you plug in all those numbers into the formulas you have seen, it's gonna give you the number in Henry. Yeah. Um, so induct the relationship that defines an inductor is uh, what we wrote down a while ago there. So the the voltage change across the inductor is related, um, is given by inductance times rate of change of current. Yep. Do these relationships look similar? I guess right now you might look at it and say they don't look like each other at all. Like how are they related? Um, I'm hoping to uh, show you by next week that you can treat this as three different, three different things that actually belong in the same category. And that same category is what we call linear circuit elements. Um, circuit elements that obey a law that's kind of like Ohm's law. Um, right now it's hard to see it, but I'm hoping to get to that next week. And um, yeah, so, so you know, let me start out with this. And today, the remaining 30 minutes or so today, We'll spend it on um, you know, reminding you of the circuit stuff that you hopefully remember, or that you know, if not, that's why I'm reminding you. And, um, and we'll um, give a simple treatment of a circuit containing two of the easier circuit elements, the register and capacitor. 